Uh, Mr. Cuccinelli is recognized for two minutes. Uh, I, I would just dovetail Mr. Spee's comment and note that we, we've heard presumptions here today that uh, your vote is almost determined by the tone of your skin color. And in the Florida election of 2022, Ron DeSantis won 60% of the Hispanic vote after passing those election reforms and with the turnout that Mr. Spee's referenced. So while Democrats may assume that skin color determines thought, I do not, and nor do many others who believe in election integrity. Uh, I would note that Ms. Torres raised a question challenging my integrity, whether explicitly or implicitly, um, and has sent a letter to me asking me about my prior testimony. I stand by all of my prior sworn testimony and response to her letter. Um, Congresswoman Bice referenced, and as did um, the witness to my right, Mr. Spees, the popularity of voter identification in polling. I would note that in the Michigan ballot measure this year, that um, the side running the ballot measure, which gutted, it eliminated the ID requirement, they passed that ballot measure, and they did it by telling voters with millions of dollars that it protected voter ID. That's how they passed it. They lied through their teeth. And in doing so, they adopted the position that is included in the ACE Act. They suggested that the ballot measure would accomplish the same as the ACE Act in terms of voter identification. Um, and last but not least, uh, the t whole talk of D.C. statehood is a power play um, by the Democrat Party with a 90 percent voter uh, advantage in D.C. That's two more senators. If they're true to history, they will just give the property back and the people will go back to Maryland where they will have two senators and they will have a congressman and not a delegate, as I keep hearing is desired.